Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. I am currently navigating through a lot of mud in my wellies and I'm walking to my thinking stump. Uh, it's a little, oh you've probably seen it before, it's a little, it's a little kind of tree trunk that's fallen down and I just love sitting there in the summer and it's not summer but it's warm, warm enough and when I finally get there I'm in my wellies sliding through the mud when I finally get there I am going to have a little chat with you and tell you what's been going on with me in the last however long since the craziness stopped me from doing vlogs but anyway let's get there first Right, I'm not far off now and I'm on a flat ground. I no longer have to slide. <laughs> Slip and slide, it's good for your thighs and for your calves, I guess. But I am now on my way there. I need a little bit of a fresh air and it's probably gonna be a different type of vlog, but I thought I'm gonna update you on what's going on. And like my thinking in general, because I know a lot of Craftworks customers are watching the vlogs and a lot of people who um, maybe are thinking of uh, building a business and starting a business in whatever industry may be interested, may be interested in different aspects of this journey. So here we go. I've lost my little pop socket because I've got a new phone. So I've lost my little pop socket and that was really good to hold my phone. So I'm going to have to hold it like this. Anyway. So, what's going on? Firstly, it's been manic since the beginning of the year. Two things happened. And one of the things is that UK has entered a full lockdown. For those of you who are watching from America, that means that we're not really allowed to do anything really apart from going to work, going to supermarket, and so far, exercise is unlimited, so I'm counting this as an exercise, but I think that may be changed to one hour a day. Secondly, the Brexit happened, and I am going to raise my hand and say that I think I've made a huge underestimation when it comes to Brexit, because for my business, it's starting to prove to be rather problematic. So, and I think if it's problematic for me, then it's very likely to be problematic for bigger businesses and therefore be quite damaging to the economy. Now, I'm not talking, talking about this to have any arguments about Brexit. Yes, pro or, you know, against or whatnot. Sorry, I've got terrible sniffles as well. But so I do, you don't want to get into this argument. If you're pro or against, I don't care. What I'm talking about is the, what's happening now. Brexit happened. It's, fa it's a fact. Let's talk about what's happening now and what effect it has on businesses. So uh, a little a break to show you my little thinking stump. This is where I sit in the summer, sometimes even like four hours, and just look at the nature. Because this is my way to, off to office to work, um, if you don't know. So I hope it is dry enough for me to sit on. I've got a long coat. So let's hope I can sit and think, breathe in some fresh air and then go back to work. My thinking stump has stump. I hope I didn't say Trump. Anyway, <laughs> my thinking stump has proven a little unhospitable, but it's fine. There's like a really nice grassy path here so I can just walk and chat to you. So with the Brexit, basically what's happening is that the Although there's a trade deal, the businesses like mine need to fill in customs declarations for every order. Now, that means that for every product that we sell, we have to find uh, and fill an origin, an origin country, which is fine, but also a um, so-called harmonized uh, tariff system or um, number. I think it's called harmonized tariffs and basically it's called HS code and um, we need to do that for every single product that we sell. Now the problem is 
that it's not that you're just going to type in chipboard <laughs> into a database with all those codes. It's not as simple because these classifications are so granular that the chipboard that is sold in sheets, that's one code. That chipboard that's called that's cut, that's another code. And chipboard with something else is yet another code. So let's take something slightly more difficult, maybe like charms. Charms with enamels, with crystals, with enamel, with crystals, with, with made of brass, made of zinc, made of, you know, with this element and that element, silver and gold, gold plated. They're all going to have a different HS code. This, has causing us, this is causing us a lot of headaches and I really don't want to stop shipping internationally. I don't want to because quite frankly, this makes for about 20% of our revenue. Who would want to forego 20% of the revenue? But at the same time, at the moment, we take about three days longer than we should to process international orders because they're packed and then I have to travel through the HS databases and find a code. I just found out today that actually Shopify allows me to um, search their database. Shopify is the system we use for selling. And thankfully, you can just type in things and they have a fairly kind of fairly accurate um, hits. So I can basically find my codes there. So now I have to go through all the products we have on the website, including how many, many hundreds of chipboards and charms and metal packets and stuff and find HS code for every single one. This is going to be interesting. This is really going to be interesting. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about furlough. I don't mean to be a down over vlog because, you know, we will get through it. But let's just talk about what's going on. So, lockdown. My girls who are working uh, for me, so that's Claire and Helen, you probably know this from my previous vlogs, are currently on what's called flexible furlough. So they are on, um, uh, they are on partial furlough. So they work part time. Now, and I'm gonna say this, so that if you are furloughed and you know, and you think this is easy for employers, then really please change your mind because it's not. Because I, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, I got furloughed, so my employer, so I'm getting 80% off my salary and then my employer, you know, does not pay anything for me. That is not true. Um, in this lockdown, your employer is still responsible for all the costs associated with hiring you all the taxes, all the pensions, national insurance, basically all the costs. So whatever type of furlough you are on, it's your employer that is paying for the costs of hiring you that normally goes to the government. Government no longer is covering those costs. This is hard, this is really hard. And it's a harsh deal, I think, for employers as well because well because it's just generally is <laughs> as i explained so that's where we are on this matter um i thought i'm gonna just tell you and explain in the process get some fresh air but you know what there are some really good things happening um one of them is that we had some gorgeous little pastes uh, released recently and they've been ever so popular and another thing is that I had a huge restock of sniff art that I've been in the process of uploading to the website when I thought, you know, I need a break. I need some fresh air. So I'm hoping we can have a nice big snip art uh, restock event. So what I'm going to do now, this is probably going to be a rather long vlog. I'm going to insert all the clips from the last few weeks when I started vlogging and I never finished. So please keep in mind that what I'm showing you next um, are old vlogs, but they still have some cute products being shown to you. 
Hello everybody, I am now in and the day has started. I've been left a huge list of ephemera to cut for Helen. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And <clears throat> I'm sorting out some sparkles that arrived, which is exciting. My a big sparkle uh, shelf is now growing. Let me show you. Check this out. This is my big sparkle shelf. And then I've got another one just there. Um, so these are all the ones that I'm planning at the moment. I keep forgetting that you haven't, you guys haven't seen it because I have shown it in a couple of clips, which I haven't edited in the end. I'm gonna say, so I'm just gonna say, I know everyone is a little bit sensitive on the subject of glitter. And I completely understand that, and I appreciate it and I respect it. And also, we are trying to be as eco-friendly as we can. But with our paste, the, the thing is, we cannot put biodegradable glitter in the paste because it will degrade. It's as simple as that. And it's really not made to get into water stream, this, the glitter that we're putting in the paste. It's meant to go on your project. Um, so when you put on your project, um, it's gonna, the glitter is going to get trapped in the paste that it is suspended in. Hi, everybody. Well, it is kind of afternoon. It's nearly three o'clock now. And I haven't vlogged because I literally got into the office and I had to hit the ground running to do everything that Helen left for me to do because we're now working shifts. I don't know if I mentioned this. I've, I haven't put some of the footage up, uh, which I was planning to do. I don't know how frequently I'm going to be able to do the vlogs now that it is going to be hectic. But basically, we are working shifts um, and uh, and I am in the office two days a week. I think I did say it. Sorry about that. I am in the office two days a week. Helen's in the office three days a week. Uh, we had to kind of switch things around at the moment for the last two days because uh, it, w it made sense that Helen is in the office Monday, Tuesday to do all the orders from Christmas, which we had 200 off, which th is thank you very much. I didn't do any advertising. So it is hugely appreciated that... Um, you made an order with us i really really appreciate it now obviously things are going to be super super busy and that's what i'm doing i'm just cutting some ephemera um fulfilling the finishing the orders out um that uh, were left for me and then um that's it uh well it's not it i'm probably going to be into quite late but um yeah it's busy times uh, we have brand new papers that are coming to us tomorrow and they're going to be shipped tomorrow. Very, very excited. They are beautiful. For the first time, we have 8 by 8 inch gloss paper, which is fantastic with like different beautiful colored, uh, like a leather um, print. Gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Morning, everybody. It's actually the next day. <laughs> because I am really not doing well with my vlogging. But I do want to vlog because I love looking back at those vlogs as well and just seeing what happened. Uh, now, the interesting fact is that today we had frost. So I did walk to work because it's good for my exercise and I'm losing weight again, which is good. I'm eating healthy, I'm losing weight. I'm trying my best to stay healthy and fit in this crazy time. Especially as I'm now more active in the office because of the lockdown and I told you probably a million times by now. But today is frosty and let me show you the view from the window. It's gorgeous. So here is what I can see from the window. I'm just doing this through the blinds but it's absolutely gorgeous. Frosty, chilly. Oh, shame it's not Christmassy anymore. That's that. What is that? Oh, that's probably where the concealer didn't reach. This is how dark my eyes are. My eye circles. Because you know what? Look at that mess. I tell you what happened. Um, we had a delivery last night and some genius left it all in front of the door. Uh, good job it didn't rain. I don't think it rained. But it was frosty. And this is our, our, our cardboard packaging there and our jiffy bag. So I'm going to have to inspect it and it just tells someone off in case uh there is an issue with it hopefully not but you know leaving a lot of cardboard in the frost overnight well what a genius move that is someone just couldn't be bothered to take it back anyway i'm not gonna say things because frankly i'm really grateful for having them here because things are so difficult with getting anything at the moment i've you know 
uh, guys last year i have released the uh sparkly uh souffles like mixed media souffles which by the way we have brand new four ones coming full size soon uh, but I released the mixed media souffles and we just ran out of 50 ml uh, pots. We had plenty of those and we had good supplies and, and um, when supplies were flowing and then suddenly they're just out of stock. We can't get them anywhere. I have ordered them from China, but that will take probably about six weeks to get them. And I somehow managed to track down like probably the last available shipment of the 50 milliliter pots they were with the wrong lids but i already had the lids so i was like whatever i can't get the pots with normal lids so if you are interested in our souffles probably sooner rather than later is the way to go to get them because we may have to start looking for different packaging and providing them in different packaging um i eat different pots but i do like the 50 ml pots because i think they ensure that the that the product is going to stay wet inside which obviously it has to so that's that um i am going to tackle this this mess i'm going to tackle this and tidy up the office it's 10 p.m here in the office and it's a bit of a mayhem let me show you what's going on enabling some more so we have here uh the precious opal which is gorgeous um and then we have some more rose quartz on this one some more sapphire on this one so so pretty i don't remember last time we had such a busy release this these pastes just went crazy our beautiful uh crystal souffles this is what they look like that's just a little bit of a other souffles at the bottom but this is what oh these just get better with time because they just dye the medium and the medium just gets dark and darker absolutely gorgeous so that's your sapphire that is your beautiful that looks to me like salmon pate that's your beautiful rose quartz and oh we've got some paints paint restock in fact i'm gonna have to take them off the website because it's the pots that are really messing us about at the moment these this is what they look like so gorgeous then we have some false gold with some different lids this time because pots and lids mm, hard to come by we have still some vintage paste i think we still have some in stock look at those colors aren't they stunning so that's it from me for now and i'll see you again next time bye